How's it going guys, RXXC here, um, and the channel name's still different, so that was still a little weird for me, uh, but we are going to transition into something new eventually. I just don't know what it is yet. I don't want to call myself the Raging Cajun, I think that's weird. Um, the cat is here, hello. Um, maybe you'll see her in the video as a little sneak peek, you have to stay tuned to see if you see the kitty. Uh, anyway, today's video um, is something I've been wanting to do, uh, I kind of talked about it before. But um, I was kind of waiting to see if Jack Kuzo did a video on it because he's like the rolling guy or whatever. Um, but he hasn't. <laughs> Sorry, Jet. I'm not trying to steal your thunder, but I do think that this is something that needs to be made. Um, and it's something that has been made because he did do a video, um, you know, kind of explaining rolling and everything. But I wanted to rehash it in a more direct way um, because from experience, this technique has changed my game immensely. I feel like I am infinitely better at the game now. Um, and I feel that it's something that everybody can do. Uh, and I just, have, I just have people that I play with that don't do it and just won't do it. And it, it, it drives me crazy because it's just so much of a better way, okay? Um, so I wanna explain it to you. Um, I'm, I, I want to say that I'm forcing you to do it because there's just better ways of doing what we've been doing. Um, I'm also going to be showcasing some new Bakugan uh, at the same time, kind of a two-for-one deal. Uh, so if, if you're here for that, great. I just didn't feel like doing an unboxing, uh, and this seems a little more helpful. I'm trying to help the community before this whole thing just kind of falls apart, and uh, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I can, uh, but obviously Bakugan's in a weird spot right now. But before all this kind of goes away, or if it does go away, at least those of us that are playing, I want everybody to be doing this correctly. <laughs> okay, so first thing I want to talk about uh, are these little gate cards, the gate, the gate trainer things. Um, this one's really cool. It comes with the diamonds. It's like got Trox and Dragonoid on there, and it, it's really cool compared to the other ones. Uh, I think I got rid of the other ones, but um, on the back, they're called gate trainers, all right? And I haven't seen anybody really talk about this, per se, but uh, if you use these to practice your rolling, basically this is like a little target, right? So if you're using, you know, a mat or whatever, I mean, you can kind of do the same thing. And I guess it doesn't really make sense if you're practicing with cores or whatever, because, I mean, obviously it's the same shape or whatever. Um... But if, if you're really trying to see, and th the reason it's nice is because one, obviously, it keeps our cards safe in the packages. That's what it's mainly for. But it does have some utility to it, and that's what I want to show you. So let's talk about the what I'm calling the correct way of rolling, or the more proper way of rolling. A lot of people, including myself, us, Visual, who's a uh, cameraman today, um, well, when we first when we first started, we would do the little push roll thing, and sure, that was okay. But clearly, by what I just did, you'd never really know. I mean, you can kind of judge, try, or whatever, and you might get it, sure. Um, but as you saw, that landed over here. Like I said, if you want to use this as a target, it's where it's the most useful. Okay, there's even like a good circle in the middle, which is really what you'd be aiming for. Okay, because um, we know the cores. If you go on the edge, if you go on the edge of a core, it's not really going to open, but once you start getting to the middle, that's when things start going. So, if you look at Nilius here, all the way to the edge, uh, that is about where you're going to be able to pick up. But if you've been playing the game for a while, you know that if you kind of roll across the edge of a core, you run the risk of that core just kind of lifting and you not actually getting it. So what you really do want to be hitting is the very middle of the core. So if you're like on your fist, you wanna be hitting the fist, okay? So that's why this middle circle here is really, really important. Um, and that's what you wanna be aiming at. So here's the thing, okay? This is like the, what, what the main point of what I'm trying to say is. <sighs> Math. Math. Math's important, right? I can do the little numbers effect thing, like the thinking thing. I probably don't know how to do that. If I did it, it's there right now. If not, <laughs> It's not there. Um, but the magnet is on a circle. Circumference of a circle, right? And I, I'm a high school teacher, but you're about to see why. I might not be the best high school teacher. Who knows? I don't know. But circumference of a circle. We have a point on the circle that has a magnet that initiates 
the opening mechanism in the Bakugan once it hits a magnet. So, you want that point on the circumference to be down when you go to the core. Okay, so you want to start your Bakugans. Let's, let's set up a whole matrix here. All right, a couple things. All right. What a lovely matrix map. Am I right? Look at that. Hey, Look at that logo. Matrix map. I yeah. Them. I posted a picture of my map on the internet, and people were freaking out like they forgot I made these things. We do. Link down in the description. We love making these, and they can get crazy. This one's made out of wood. This one's made out of wood. Oh, just kidding. It's, it's rubber. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the uh, video here. Um, so, like I said, circumference point, you want that to be down, because obviously... That point here is where our Bakugan is going to be making contact to open mechanically. So, uh, judging on, depending on where do you want to go forwards or backwards, it's still up to you. Obviously, some of our Ultras pick up two, which is nice uh, if you're rolling backwards, so like Nilius Ultra or something like that. Uh, both Nilius Ultra, the new one does too. Anyway, point. So, let's say I want this Red Fist core, okay? Specifically, because I say this turn is this the. No. Let's pretend that this is my gear cost reduction core, okay? So, and I have a card in my hand that I want to play for for relatively free or less, and I want to get this core specifically. I don't want these crappy green fists or anything like that. I'm going to take my Bakugan, grab my magnet, and what I do is I grab it to where, if I'm holding it like this with three fingers, the magnet's on the bottom here. You can kind of see it, all right? I take it, and I place my Bakugan next to the magnet, okay? So next to the core that I want, all right, to the side, all right? So it can be either side. Say I had like stuff here. I don't want, you know, it'd be hard for me to do it right here. I mean, you can do it off to the side. If you have a matrix mat or if you have any other kind of mat that shows the cores, you can kind of follow the core over. So if I want this one, I would go here, all right? So let's do that. I'll put my Bakugan here. And what you need to do is pull the Bakugan to you as straight as possible about five to six cores away. Remember, our rule in Bakugan is two card lengths away, okay? So if you count that, that's about one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the general rule that people go by, okay? Um, and mathematically or whatever, like like they say, that it, it should be two full rotations, but sometimes you can't trust that, judging on how you roll, because if you roll this way, you're actually pushing the Bakugan a little bit as it skips, so you actually lose two cores of depth before you start your roll, generally. You know, it could be a little less. But you kind of scoot forward and then roll, and you lose this, you know, mathematical advantage you have with the two-card length rule or whatever. So to eliminate that and having to do this little thing that people do at the beginning of the game, which you don't need to do that, okay? If you have a mat like this, sure. If you don't, whatever. But take this again I want this core I'm gonna come to this core to the side of it on that line place it down with my little grip here magnets flush down you got to make sure like if I lit if I leave it here it's sitting on that flat mat, mat uh, magnet surface sorry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my finger to me as straight as I can try to use the cores as a guide which is you know, a good idea for you is to use these cores as a guide. And I'll show you another version of that here in a second. I'm gonna pull to me and catch my Bakugan. Now, if I just went straight, I kind of pulled to the left. It's okay. As long as you stay within these, these core lines here on a line, you should be relatively fine, okay? Um, so if I go forward from this point, if I go right back to where I was, okay? Keep going, keep going. Keep going, so my magnet's here. So my next full rotation should put it down, and now I'm on my, my core line, okay? So if I roll it back the same way, I, or if I roll it forward the same way I rolled it back, in theory, physics and math tell us that the magnet will still be down. That's what we're trying to do here. So hopefully I don't screw up on camera. Let me do my thing. Pull it to me, I got it. I'm gonna move it over, because I want this core. So I've moved it from here. I did a straight shoot over to the left, because I want the core in the middle. And now my goal is to roll straight down this core line, and I should be able to pick this up, okay? Now, uh, I play golf. I'm a bit of an athlete back in my day. I, I've done a couple of sports. Um, and when you're doing 
long distance movements uh, with you know body motions, golf or whatever, it's better to shrink down your motion into a smaller view range, okay? So I have six to five cores of travel that I'm about to deal with here. But what I'm actually gonna really be doing is focusing about two to three cores in front of me, okay? If I can make my Bakugan travel on a perfectly straight line down this line, uh, that's what I'm aiming for is a whole six cores, but if I can focus on this three, so like right here, and I'm really focusing on that going straight, chances are that's gonna go straight. That's a good golf strategy. Some people say swing through your ball, you know, swing through to about, if this is my golf ball, hit the ball here. I'm, just, I'm looking here to try to push my club through there. This is a Bakugan video, I don't know what I'm talking about golf, so. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying, okay? I'm shrinking my view distance to here so I can really focus on getting a straight roll. So again, I'm aiming here, I'm all the way back here, but I'm looking about here, and what I'm gonna do is Jet's, you know, straight shoot, I forgot what he called it exactly, but you wanna have your finger to the side, perfectly like perpendicular to the straight line you're going to, all right, if you do this and you're pushing, Something like that might happen, or you might push to the side. You wanna be straight, okay? So if I'm doing it right, well, just to show you, if I'm here, I really want it to get here. Good, good, good. So I'm hitting that line, okay? So let me line myself up and see if we can do this. Straight back, over, and straight. I hit the exact core that I wanted to hit, all right? So to get a little more extreme with it or to see the actual benefit of this, let me show you. Okay, so now I specifically want the core in the middle of the flower pattern here, okay? So this green fist, uh, yeah, this green fist, okay? So I don't wanna hit this one and I don't wanna go past and hit this one. So let's say this is a trap and this is a trap. I definitely don't want those. So specifically I'm aiming here. Okay, so same thing. I want to be here, so I'm going to come over exactly, you know, to the side of that, but off of the matrix, so you're not bothering anything or anybody. All right, come here, pull back, come over, and straight through. And I picked up the exact core that I wanted because I measured the distance, okay? Now, some of you might already know this, some of you don't, and I'm really aiming at the people who don't. And I, if you practice this, the best way to practice this is set up a flower. Uh, I call this the flower pattern, whatever, obviously, for obvious reasons. And try to hit your middle core, okay? So come out one more time, pull off to the side, straight through, and you get the exact core you want, all right? So, um, I don't know. I've been playing this way for a while. What this allows you to do, oh, I guess I didn't really explain this. What I wanted to explain with this thing um, is that the target. So you can get even more precise if you try to train with this thing. Um, just I, I do it sometimes just to practice. Try to line up straight to the side. Okay, get out of the way. Straight to the side of it. I wanna be right in the middle. So I'm gonna try, come over, and try to get right in the middle there. So. I mean, obviously I'm still magnetizing because it's the gate card, uh, but I missed my target a little bit. So maybe I, I moved it a little bit when I came here, but just working on your preciseness with these gate trainers is kind of cool. Um, it's a good way to practice. Um, the nice thing about it is that if you miss, you're probably gonna like miss and still open back here. So your Bakugan doesn't roll off the table every time. That's really the nice part about it. Uh, but yeah, so um, I hope that was helpful. I tried to help with, I tried, I tried to explain it as best as I could. Uh, it, it's just something I'm really passionate about and I really think everybody needs to know. Um, and I guess I never actually show these guys off, but uh, I have these new Bakugan. I'm just gonna open them. New Hydrus, uh, Treteris here. I really love Treteris. Uh, it really works well with Ultra Bakugan too, since Ultra Bakugan roll really straight. So like this is Ramparian. Um, and remember on Ultra Bakugan, you don't have the circle. You have this little flat piece, okay, so who's this, Pegatrix? Pegatrix, same thing, you have the flat piece that you need to find. Uh, I think on the new ones it's normally right by the arrow. All right, so it's not a circle like the cores, we should all know this by now. Uh, so like here's a core with a circle, the ultras are a little more flat. Uh, for that reason they actually work pretty well, so 
I'll show you even more dramatic example. A lone core in the middle in the middle of my matrix mat here, um, and I'm gonna roll this one uh, backwards just to show kind of what it can do. Line it up, pull it back. They roll straight. Push and I open. All right. So I can pinpoint out cores. All right. So a fun little game you can play. Throw you some cores out randomly on the table. You know, something like this and try to aim. Uh, one thing about this that I do want you to know is that you start, if you're aiming three cores away, all right? So if I'm aiming for this red fist, far, farthest away from me, okay? Um, it, it tends to be that you'll hit this core on the tip before you hit this one. So your, your range here is about two cores in. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do the same exact technique, put it to the side of it. Uh, that was a little wonk, uh, wonky, straight back. And now I'm gonna try to hit this red fist all the way in the back, straight. It would work sometimes, but I'm just warning you, especially if it's four away. So say you have kind of like a, a this situation, all right? And like you wanna snipe your opponent's magic shield or something. And you have like this set up here, Chances are, you, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get that red core. So you want to get a little straighter here. That yeah, should work. Here. So yeah, I'm going to hit the first core because the rotation has gone one full rotation. And it, your, your magnet's going to be down at that point. So I, I guess I misspoke there. It's four cores away. So again, if you're trying to snipe something back here, but you have a core here, I recommend just coming to the side. I have an alias ready here, coming to the side and pull this way. And same thing from here. See if I can get a good angle here and get it that way. So there's ways around it, all right? So you just wanna be careful of where you are so you don't pick up the wrong core. Because obviously we're playing Bakugan with core bonuses and stuff like that now that are really important that they need to be on a specific core. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to be a little more instructional. Um, I know that we've gotten past the beginning of the game, so people are starting to lose the instructional aspect of their videos, but even for people who I think have played the game for a long time, uh, maybe needed to hear this, because there's some people who just, you know, they're, uh, they're just reluctant to change. But just to me, you know, the, the just the rolling for whatever, you just do the little push, that happens. You know what I'm saying? So you never really, have a, a you it just looks like you're aimlessly rolling and with the things that we have now like this guy where he needs to hit that helix it's just it, it's just imperative that you do this this way uh, or uh, find another way to do it i guess but i accurately hit every core i want to hit every time i do it now i think some people were calling this precision rolling uh, as kind of a thing so i just hope that you guys can take this video and learn from it I might have been a little faster than Jet. We didn't have, you know, the nicest camera or whatever, but I think that this is the best way to go about rolling moving forward with the game. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything else to say right now, but if you guys have any other comments or any other strategies that you use, um, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But this, I think, is the most straightforward strategy for rolling moving forward. Uh, you can call it precision rolling if you want, uh, but I think it's something that you all need to practice. So uh, if you are watching this and you want to, you can tag me on Twitter of you, uh, a video or a picture or something of you practicing your precision rolling. I'll gladly uh, give you a like and a shout out or something like that. Uh, so follow me on Twitter um, and I'll probably be doing a stream here uh, soon where I'm doing some practicing. I've got boxes to open, a Bakugan and stuff, so we got a lot of stuff coming up. But I thank you for watching. I hope it was really helpful, and if you have any comments or anything, be sure to let me know, and tag me on Twitter. Uh, I'd love to see you guys practicing this technique and getting better at the game. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for the game, because I still believe in the game. I don't want it to die. Keep it alive. Please, don't die. Goodbye.